Hello, and welcome to today's video of Electrical Materials, where we will be covering resistivity temperature dependence. Our resistivity for metallic conductors differs for the semiconductor resistivity formula that we have seen before, since it varies linearly with changes in temperature. Because of this, our formula for resistivity is rho is equal to rho naught times 1 plus alpha times t minus t naught, where rho is our resistivity after temperature change, rho naught is our initial resistivity, our alpha is equal to our temperature coefficient, t is equal to temperature change, and t naught is equal to our initial temperature. Let's go ahead and look at an example. For our example, we have a metallic conductor consisting of silver has initial resistivity of 1.59 times 10 to the negative eighth power ohms times meters at 20 degrees Celsius. Given that the temperature coefficient of silver is 0 0.0038 ohms divided by Celsius, calculate the resistivity if the temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius. Before we start plugging in values into our formula, we need to see what the question is asking us in this example. It is asking us to calculate the resistivity after the temperature is increased to 50 degrees Celsius. So we know that we are looking for the resistivity after a temperature change. Knowing that, we can also go ahead and note our values that are given. So we have our initial resistivity, rho naught, is equal to 1.59 times 10 to the negative 8 in ohms meters, which is at the initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. So T naught is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. And we know that our temperature coefficient is 0 0.0038. So we have alpha is equal to 0 0.0038 ohms divided by Celsius. We can now go ahead and start to plug in these values into our formula to solve. So we have our resistivity rho is equal to rho naught, so 1.59 times 10 to the negative 8 ohms times meters, and we're going to go ahead and add a bracket 1 plus alpha, so 0.0038 ohms divided by Celsius and we have T minus T naught. So that was also another given information that we had which was T is 50 degrees Celsius. So we have 50 degrees Celsius minus our initial 20 degrees Celsius. So as a rule of thumb we need to first solve for what we have inside our brackets and parentheses first. So looking inside our parentheses, we can first subtract 50 minus 20 degrees Celsius, which gives us 30 degrees Celsius. And we can multiply this by our temperature coefficient, which gives us 0 0.114 in ohms since our Celsius degree unit canceled out when we multiplied. We can now add 1 plus our 0 0.114 ohms. So we have 1.114 ohms now. And we can go ahead and multiply this to our initial resistivity. But let's go ahead and clear the board to continue to solve. So after multiplying, we are left with our resistivity to be equal to 1.77 times 10 to the negative eighth power ohms times meters. This concludes our video on resistivity temperature dependence. Thank you for watching.